Good morning, Mishlicks. Hello, I'm Lisa Fry, the Catholic Unschooler. Welcome to our paradise. Okay, I got a package. I don't really know what it is. I really don't. The reason why I am getting this on video with you is because I don't normally get packages. So let's hope. Who sent this? What? Is this from Joe? My brother? Wait, what? What is that? Isn't that sweet? He made an espresso for me when I was at my father's house this past weekend. And I said, oh my gosh, this is like the most delicious coffee ever. And um, and he, he showed me one of these and this is how he made it. And I, he goes, have you ever seen one? I said, yeah. I said, I guess I can get it from Salvation Army. Sometimes they have them there. I'm guessing it's from him. Boy, the mail is fast, isn't it? Well, yeah. Does it say? I'll have to call him. It leaves a prime that goes overnight. Oh, really? Espresso maker. Let me call Big Uncle cups. Joe. Aluminum? Don't you know about aluminum, Uncle Joe? Hold on, let me uh call him. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to call Joe. I, I can only imagine it being him since we were discussing this over the weekend. Isn't that cute? I love when people think about me. Doesn't that feel good? I don't know. I wouldn't know. Huh? I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know? I don't think no, he, he wouldn't know having that beautiful dinner there. Coagulate. Joe, it's Lisa. I'm assuming that this coffee maker is from you. I'll feel really silly. No coffee, espresso. Oh, espresso maker. Um, and if it's not from you, I feel very strange, but we were discussing this and I got this package and I'm like, what is this? And if it is you, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you. I love being thought of, of course. What All right. So, uh, let me know, please. If it was you, I'm, I'm assuming that it was, I mean, you know, all right. Well, thank you. And may God bless you in return. All right. Love you. Bye. Oh, that's so cute. Let me open it up and show you. I don't have my glasses, so Sarah's helping me at the moment. You need to take this out, and oh. it says, fill base with water. Uh-huh. So, so the base. So this. fill this with water. Is there a line showing you how much to put in there? No. Oh, look at this. It fill it. So this is the kind of coffee um, that is so strong that literally, I see he has a beard, and I said, that it grows hair on your face, doesn't it? And here's what the inside looks like. Ready? I'm, I'm going to have a beard. So the thing is, um, it's is so funny. powerful and wonderful. It's something like probably like Starbucks would um, Ready? have for you. It's so strong, which I absolutely love. And I could never drink this. Replace, I could drink it every okay. day. Right. Replace funnel, mm -hmm. fill it with ground coffee. Yeah, so I'll get the coffee. Yeah. It says then, Cuban style or what else? I forget what I said. I can't remember. Then it says... Tighten top to base, so next when you do that, you just put this on. And then you put it on your stove. And it says, heat until coffee... Uh... Alright, and then after your water is in here, your coffee is in here, then um, you screw, you put this on. You twist it on. Did you watch the whole thing? Heat until oh, coffee yeah. percolates. Yeah. Percolates is the word. When it goes... Actually, no. Heat until coffee percolates. Remove you. from heat and serve. Nice. Okay, it Can does you, like, seem... open your eyes a little because you're like this? That's how I have to. Why? Aluminum, because it blocks out when you squint. It blocks out all the rest of the light. You actually like, can't see without glasses. Right. All right, so it is made of aluminum, which is scary. Um, I don't like to drink caffeine. Because it makes me, it's it's like if somebody turned the volume up to like a hundred, and when people come to me, it's, it sounds like they're talking really fast, and the room is vibrating, and it's just way too much for me. But I guess I could do this once in a while, right? Like maybe on the weekend, once a weekend or something. So isn't this cute? And I just love that he thought about me. That is so sweet. It's my brotherly love here in my home. Isn't that nice? That's so nice. Thank you, Uncle Joe. So I learned why it's called espresso. That is what I needed to know. So the reason why it's called espresso is because... It expresses itself? The water 
shoots through the bean or the coffee um, in here so fast it's it's like an espresso it, it's you know what I mean it does like it very quick line. like the express line <laughs> okay wow what do you got over there nothing oh let's look you don't have the rest of my potato salad where is it yeah but she was eating out of it and she's oh. not feeling well I need to get sick oh wonderful all right so go and get one thank you Uncle Joe it's so nice of you to think of me Okay, my birdie friends, I saw them over there. I got a loaf of bread for the birdies because I was giving them pumpkin bread and they seemed to really favor that over other things I would put out there. I whistled three times. I hope I did three times. I don't even know. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Oh my gosh. All right, and then for the squirrels, I buy them the non, non salted kind of peanuts so they don't get thirsty. All right. There it is. Now we wait. All right. So. Mr. Fry has a very good point. The Bible does say that those that will be last will be first. And Mr. Fry said he wants to be last so he can be first. <laughs> Where's my peanuts? I think that's defeating the point. Right? I don't know. But... Everybody got the peanuts except for Mr. Fry. And there's a ghostly woman. Look! <gasps> there's a ghostly man too! Now, see, now they're gone. Did you see that? Nope. Oh, there's a boy one, too. <laughs> they come and go so quickly here. All right, let's get coffee. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. Cheers. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. I just can't get hooked to the caffeine. No. Plus, it wears and tears on your adrenal glands. That's not good either. But that will be fun. Maybe I'll do it like on a Saturday morning, you know? We have to make that noise now. The sipping coughing, coffee noise. You ready? And I think it's true. It's like my husband always does it. His father always does it. But they're really loud about it when they're drinking their coffee. So I try not to do it because, I don't know, it sounds ugly. But... I, when I when I tried to be quiet just now, I could hear myself doing it a little bit, but it wasn't as enjoyable. So let's see if it's a little different. All right, here, we'll do it again. Cheers. I think it does definitely bring out the flavor. I don't know why. Why? What does that mean? Okay, so the heat is still not... Well, we put it on this morning. They got it so that they could put it on just in the morning, get the chill out. And then that's it. I got the oven working, and we have the flamethrower right on Sarah. It's called a flamethrower. Is it? So today, while I'm drinking this, because it seems kind of weak, and I don't know why that is, um, I put a lot of coffee in there. Okay, so... All right, the avocados are going bad, which means that... We're not eating them fast enough, which means that, hold on, which means that I really, hold on, is there a charger in there? Because I found that one. Yes, it's in the living room. Uh, I'll get it. I got to do everything this morning for everybody. Okay. We need more mayo. All gone. All right. I'll be right back. I got to go get the charger for Sarah. All right, here's a little lesson on avocados. All right, this one here would probably, you could, so if it's super duper, really hard, it's not anywhere near done. And you don't wanna eat it like this because it just isn't right. It's not ready. So this one too is still too, way too hard. 
All right, now this one, if you indent it like that, or even if you just like squeeze it a little bit and it goes way in, it might be too late. Like this one I could feel over here. Like this is probably good to eat down here, but this one up here might be not, might be all rotten. So the, the, the looser the skin, the, the more ripe it is, which is like not a good thing. You don't want it. You want it in between what I showed you first, the harder one, and then this here. This is too squishy. Can you, you can see all the wrinkles in it. So I'll open that up and I'll show you. So this one even still. So if you're in the grocery store and it's way too hard, you can take them home and just wait. But you don't want to wait to the point that, see how squishy that is? That's not supposed to be doing that. It's not supposed to be like this extra skin. All right, so this one feels good, but I just looking at it, it looks like a weird color to me. So I would think to myself, this is too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a chocolate pudding with it so that we can eat it like that. Cause I probably wouldn't want to eat it like this. So let me get all my equipment out. I forgot the symphony. What am I crazy? Uh, sorry about all the wires. It's very unattractive. So I'm just getting my little food processor out. Processor out. I'm gonna cut up I'll, I'll do this, the real squishy one first, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. The way I open up an avocado is I start at the top and I just go all the way around. There's a big old seed in there, all right? And then I just split the two like that. Oops, okay, that's not how I normally do it. This tells me that it's pretty ripe, you know? It will have a bad smell. This smells pretty good. It wasn't supposed to detach like that. It was supposed to detach perfectly, probably because I had it up in the air. So I'm gonna take all the meat out, see? To me, this reminds me of a dinosaur egg, so it's very fun. And yes, I could have saved this to eat plain, but it feels pretty odd. Yeah, see, when it comes really loose like that off the skin, all I did was squeeze it a little bit and it came up. That tells me that we wanna get this down the hatch very fast. All right, so I noticed this piece in there, not all the parts will be created equal. See the brown? I don't want to eat that, so I'm gonna discard that, all right? Not all parts are created equal when they're going bad. All right, so we're gonna say our morning prayers before we continue to do all these other things in our lives. Okay, so I don't have my glasses on. I have to magnify it with the camera. Our morning offering, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. O oh my God, I give you all my prayers, works, and sufferings, so you will attach them to the Sacred Heart of Jesus in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass everywhere around the world today. I thank you for everything you give me. I am sorry for offending you. I ask you to please bless me today and for all eternity. Help me to please you and Holy Mother of the Church for the conversion of sinners, and for the relief of the poor souls in purgatory. I wish to gain all the indulgences, that's your special graces, attached to the prayers I shall say, and the good works I shall perform this day. Come Holy Spirit, fill my heart, mind, body, and soul, that I may be pleasing to God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So when we read an organized prayer, there's nothing wrong with that. Even we, re we repeat the words of God himself um, through the Our Father, through the Hail Mary. These are the best prayers to say, even better than our own, because they're God's. You're just repeating back what God said. Now, this one is from the church, and God gave the church the authority, so we pray what is best. So, because a lot of times when we pray, we're all jumble mumble, and then we're like always, we don't always know what's the very best way to pray, even though it's coming from our hearts. Sometimes we get all messy about it and all like, you know, I don't know, you know what I mean? So, yes, do we pray and talk to God with our own prayers? Absolutely, all the time. Absolutely. However, um, all right, this is what a perfect avocado the coloring looks like. Um, I can tell that it is perfectly ready. Uh, however, it's probably just like a couple of days older than I want it. Just because as I took it out, see how it separated off the wall there? 
Um, it definitely isn't horrible. What? I'm not in the mood to go, but I want to go. I can't tell. But not today. No one's gonna be there at all. It's Wednesday. To you, let me know though. So okay. Let's go Friday. It's up to you. I don't know what to do. Maybe later we can go to the other one. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I mean? It depends. It's nice out. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'll do that. You know what I mean? Just because I just don't like it. So day. it's perfectly fine. Great color. Oh, smells good. Okay. Anytime oh, you eat an avocado and it smells bad or tastes bad, you don't want to eat that. Maybe you can't smell anything, but it tastes bad. That's not a good avocado. All right. So I am moving right along here. So, Okay, here's the other half of that avocado. That's perfect. Perfect. But I'm still going to use it before it goes bad. Okay, so I opened up this one, and I said to myself, it looks pretty good. You know, a couple of little bad spots. Uh, but when I went to go smell it, it almost smells like perfumey in a way. Right, so I'm not gonna use this one. I don't need that to taste bad in my pudding. I absolutely, can I tell you right now, one of my favorite desserts is chocolate pudding, okay? It's just like from above, poured down to us. Oh yes. So on to the next one. Okay, when I took this apart, it perfectly came apart. Like it just went, I, I cut around and it just went boop, like that. So that is perfect. Really. It's on the verge of going bad, you can see. Great smell. Great smell. All right, so I'm gonna use that too. See, it's coming out, but it's not jumping out, okay? So that means it's good. Perfect, perfecto. We like things when they go easy, don't we? Yes, we do. And then the way to get that out is, if it's not rotten, because otherwise it'll just jump out at you, um, I will stab this really hard on the counter, not in my hand, right? So I'm going to stab it. There it is. And pull it out. Now, how do I get it off there? I just try. <laughs> Maybe with a, a fork. Yeah, I went whoop, like that. Okay. All right. It's pretty packed in there, and I still have one more avocado to go. I'm going to try to puree this up before I add anything to it. Only cocoa powder and my sugar substitutes that are natural. So now it looks like a pudding that the Grinch would want to eat. Okay, it's still not done, but I'm gonna add cocoa powder and my sugars like I was telling you. Watch the transformation. Watch the transformation. <laughs> It's the only spoon in the house. No well, way. in the kitchen. Seth, do you know where all the spoons are? No. You don't get there has to be some in your room. All right. I don't know how much of this I'm going to need, so I'll just do a tablespoon, a heaping one. It's probably going to need way more than that, right? You know what? I'll do two. My instincts tell me to add two. All right, now, I am also using this. Oh, Sethi, if you have any spoons in your room, please bring them down. Where are all my spoons? They're all gone. We only have one spoon in my whole house. I'm not buying more. Okay, so I'm going to use this here, okay? So what I did was, at another recipe, I had put that sugar in this blender to um, make it like a powdery kind, like a powdered sugar, and that will give this pudding really smooth flavor or texture all right now the thing is if it's not like powdered you're gonna taste the the grindiness of it all if you use it the other way so this is it has stevia in it which is a natural plant but it also has like this real stinging taste to it but it is mixed with another type so I'm gonna use a little at a time and then we'll have to just taste that all right because whatever the recipe calls for with regular awful sugar that's really tasty. Um, use half of this. All right, so, whoa, baby. Whoa, you seeing that? Ow. All right, here we go, blending it up again. It's not the greatest blender. All right, I took it out of there, and I'm just gonna mix it myself by hand because it, it's just easier this way. 
It's more thorough. It did a pretty good job, though. All right, I'm going to taste this thing and see how it, what we need to do. First of all, it would be great if it was cold, and it's not. So I'm going to add a little bit more of my powdered sugar. I can, I can taste that sting a little bit, so I want to be careful. So what a beautiful way to get a, an extremely healthy. Now, maybe you don't want to do chocolate um, because of the caffeine. You could use carob. I don't personally like carob. Um, very much I can do it definitely but I want the ultimate and this is not organic which is or is it it's non GMO that's good but I don't see that it says it's not organic so it's probably sprayed with a lot of bug spray aye, aye. I'm gonna personally add I never did this before a little bit of vanilla oh yeah I added another splash of vanilla in there it made all the difference in the world. I could tell. It was like I was like eating it, going, hmm. But when I went, oh yeah, then we know that it's it's perfect. Okay, I would much rather use a different type of um, substitute sugar that's healthy, uh, natural. Um, I'm not talking about things like honey, that because that will boost your insulin level wicked, and I don't want to do that. So. All right, anyway, enough of the small talk with this. I'm gonna just put this in the refrigerator. You could put it in the freezer. Um, you could, you know what I mean? It'll make it, you can make little chunks of it and then add, add it like a, a keto bomb kind of thing, you know? How would you rather have this, Sarah? Right? Would you like a keto bomb in the refrigerator? See, I don't think I have room in the freezer. You are not gonna believe this, okay? They what look so Bad, no, I'm joking. What? So good! Look Wait. at that thing! Let me show you what I did. So I took this wax paper on top of a paper plate and I was gonna like like put piles of them there, right? That's it. But I thought, wait a minute, but I thought, wait a minute, I have all these molds, and usually like if I'm opening up a gift of some kind or some kind of product, they have these blank ones, right? And I keep them for whatever I want to do. Okay, so this is what happened. I put it in each one of these squares. Now, if you don't have one of these. Too bad for you, no joking. Nice. You can um, use anything. Just just put them in piles, you know. Uh, make them any shape you want. So, and I decided to put a little bit of walnut, but mostly pecans on these. And then I'm going to stick them in the freezer because where, when I, whenever anything has a lot of fat, it really doesn't want to become solid. Uh, like a nice, you know, like right now I couldn't do this. If this was milk chocolate, yeah, it would get hard right here over time or in the refrigerator. This here has to go in the freezer. And then, you know, you can have one at every meal. And it's not to say, oh, I'm craving sugar. You know how you might say, oh, I want some sugar uh, sweet after you eat a meal. That just means that according to Dr. Berg, that you have high insulin levels in your body and that's not good. And so what you would be craving here is you actually start to crave fat, which is very healthy to do. So looks pretty good, right? Okay, chocolates, do your thing.